Hello everybody, this is Kaboom and welcome to today's video. As you can see behind me, this is the remnants of one of my air battle bus ships. Maybe air battle box, maybe air battle cube. I don't know guys. You let me know in the description below what you think I should name this. Maybe I'll even do a poll and see what you guys think. But this is one of two ships that I built and I have some really awesome footage of Haskins and T-Dizzle battling each other. It is so cool to see these two ships and those two guys battle against each other. It seemed like a lot of fun. Both of them had a blast. This ship is not meant to be built in survival. This is a sandbox build and is meant to be part of a mini game. That is why the balloons are strategically placed this way so that as you lose them, your whole ship doesn't tilt but actually will just go down lower and lower and the first ship that hits the ground loses and the one still in the air wins. You're able to move in eight different directions with these dynamic plates in the engines and overall their feedback was that this was a lot of fun. Now there's also another version where you don't use the dynamic foundations and you just go up into the air and you don't and you're not able to move your ships around. In that version, you'll build one of these ships like here, and then you'll build your other ship over here. You'll both launch up into the air, and then you'll say go, and then you'll shoot at each other. And then the first person hit the ground loses. That ship is pretty easy to build. At the point of this build, I'll be like, okay, this is how far you have to go. And it might be even a little easier for people who don't really want to mess with the dynamic foundations or the thrusters. So yeah. I think overall this is a really fun mini game within a sandbox world that you can get in, play with your friends, and have a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and jump into the build. And if you guys are enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like button for more videos like this. When I was coming up with this build, I wanted something that was quick, easy, and something that people could build, and I wanted to be able to go up and down. And I wanted the balloons to be positioned so that they you were able to shoot them from any level. So if you were below the other vessel, like here, you could still have a shot on the balloons to bring your opponent down and, and vice versa. If you were above, you could shoot down on the other person. So there was a, a lot of designs. Um, I'll show you guys here. If you look around in the world, some of this is from our air battle that we had the other day. Uh, some of this is conceptions like that over there was my first conception build uh, There's another one over there on the ground um, This world's probably gonna be toast after this because of all the balloons floating around and debris in the sky But this model It didn't work out because if you shot one of the balloons off you see how tilted that is it just it, it it got tilted way too much and so I ended up moving the post to the center of the build with the balloons on it so that way when you lose a balloon it doesn't tilt as much and makes you uh, able to still maneuver the craft around and stuff like that all right so once you've built this platform you this is built with the 16 by 16 by Twos, you're basically doing a three by three of those once you're done with that you're gonna grab the fences and this build is built with all parts in sandbox mode but also um, all parts that are free to play there are no bot parts in this build so if you just have the base game uh, you should be able to build this no problem You'll also notice I'm leaving a space in the corner on uh, on purpose. That space right there, if you can see it. That's on all four corners. You're gonna grab this middle gate like this. You're gonna place these here. There's gonna be one gap along each of those, like that. Now, if you're doing the easier version, at this point, you would just go into this mode and you would just go ahead and hold the snap button to center that on that center block. And then you would build this up eight and then you would build your balloons out. Your buddy would be over there 
they would build the exact same thing as what you just did uh, however the distance you want apart from each other and then you would go ahead jump to the part where you add the balloons go over there knock the knock the um, piece off that's holding you down right here and then you both would go into the air and battle each other but if you want to be able to maneuver your ship go ahead and continue to follow from this point grab your 4x4x2s four by four by grab your dy dynamic foundation grab large thrusters grab a switch and then as always be sure you punch and make sure you're hitting that top block if you hit like the middle block it does weird things like you'll end up with like a block on this <laughs> and uh, yeah it can get frustrating so just something I learned and then kind of push that into the corner and then hit your switch to make sure it's all the way there another thing it just if your if your foundation is out here uh, push it up against the rail for some reason if you get a running start into the rail uh, this thing will bust off the rails and fly in that direction uh, I'm not speaking from experience okay yes, I am speaking from experience unfortunately of it happening to me a bunch of times and uh, yeah after about the third or fourth time I was like oh you know what I shouldn't do that Now we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same thing that we did there uh, three more times, maybe two more times, now that this one's done. In each corner. Okay, now that we got all four of the dynamic plates in order, just make sure they're all in the corners. Okay, now we have all four dynamic foundations in with the rockets properly placed we're gonna go up eight here that's three four five six seven eight and then we're gonna grab our floors this is the 16 by two we're gonna center those and these are gonna come out two more one for a total of three like that once you have all your floors on, you're going to put a balloon in the middle and then you're going to bring a balloon out what right to where it turns green here. Bam. Repeat that on all four sides. Now this is the part of the build here that will help keep you in the air and centered and this is really the key to your ship not going all cattywampus. Now we're going to come out here and we're going to put a balloon right on the edge. Then we're going to move this in until it turns green. And we're putting three balloons like that on each side. Okay, after you get all your balloons on, it should look like this. Again, remember you could have skipped to this part here and not put these uh, dyna dynamic foundations on. And you could just go up in the air and battle your... Uh, friends so now let's go ahead and release this from the ground and your friend should be having their ship built somewhere over in that area and you can fly up jump on your ship like this and then you're gonna want to be sure you put some fences in between each of these foundations like this just you just want to kind of center it it doesn't have to be precise but this is going like if this foundation plate starts to slide back it'll hit this fence and it kind of makes these uh, their own little compartments so that you don't have to worry about anything now the cool thing about this build is you can go in eight directions you want to go in this direction you just flip this switch and you head in that direction let's say you want to go that direction well you jump over here you flip both of these switches and now you're headed in that direction so you this thing is uh, maneuverable in eight different directions and i think i would highly recommend a 2v2 team 
uh, one person on bows and the other person uh, driving the ship because there's a lot going on uh, this video that I'm about to show you is a 1v1 and I am so thankful to these guys for jumping into this uh, world and just giving a little mock battle for us so we can kind of see the game in play uh, they had a lot of fun and I think you guys will have a lot of fun playing this little mini game uh, in a sandbox world with your friends so let's go ahead and jump into that footage hey everybody welcome to this part of the video I really wanted to show these two things off because I've shown you how to build this now I want to show you what it's for this right here is going to be for this mini game the other day we had a blast shooting at each other but we all had our own vehicles with this design both teams will have a fair advantage to go at each other so if both you gentlemen i'm joined by haskins and t dizzle if both of you could empty your inventories put on any charms you want you can have food any of that matters or i should say none of that matters uh you'll lose when your ship hits the ground if you could try to stay out of fly mode um do that but if you have to to use it to get back on your ship that's fine that's that's fair just uh once you get on your ship drop out of fly mode and then go ahead and fill your inventory full of arrows so your inventory should have five crossbows uh across the bottom and then your inventory should be full of arrows uh what type of crossbows uh you're gonna use the epics um, and if people want to, so the epic is two shots per balloon. The uh, common is three shots per balloon. So that is up to people who are playing the game. If you want to make the game a little harder, go with the common. If you want to have two shots per balloon, go ahead and go with the regular. Or with the epic, sorry. I'll edit that. <laughs> okay, are you guys both ready? Uh, give me one more. As ready as I'll ever be. Awesome. <laughs> so All right. from my testing guys if you pop seven of the other person's balloons uh the ship will go down let me explain the ships to you real quick the ship both ships have the balloons on a center pillar to help keep your ship from going really cattywampus balance and, yeah and and in the platforms you'll notice that you have these little plat these little um dynamic foundations with rockets you can go in uh eight directions so if you were to flip this switch and this switch you would go straight if you were flip just this switch you would go at this angle so if that does that make sense yeah i'm actually even noticing now which is kind of cool because they're they're set in there like loose loosely like uh -huh. if you just go your character goes up and pushes on it it moves your your ship oh that's cool yeah like my character's pushing on it so now it's moving see i'm going towards Haskin. Uh oh no! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Air collision. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, we're not. We're good. We're good. Ah! Oh, no! What up, Dizzle? Well, this is gonna go really quick. <laughs> Count it down. Okay, guys, ready? Three, two, one, go! So we are. They are now circling each other. They are both moving back into position. Do you guys feel like those bigger balloons are easier to hit? Oh, oh yeah, T Dizzle with the first blood. L oh, Haskins is oh, going down. Leading. Oh my gosh, the lead is so cool though. Oh, three it balloons. Four balloons. Oh my gosh, this is about. Oh, Haskins may have decided to kamikaze into oh. the other plane. He has. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm hitting my own ship now. I'm gonna have to go back and replay that. I'm, I uh. So okay, all right. So Haskins is. Basically, Kamikaze into T Dizzle. T Dizzle is on his way down to the ground, but is he is he far enough? Oh, I keep hitting the. Oh, there we go. There you go. Perfect. Oh, that was beautiful. So, as you can see in this design, um, I yes. made it. Oh, oh. I, I can't even tell how close I'm. Just you're about to hit. <laughs> you're about to hit. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. That was fun. That was good great, man. Yeah, good That time. is a that lot fun. more fun than the last one. Yeah, it's more than what we did. And uh -huh. it's like, makes more sense. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Awesome. If we each had one of those, that's perfect. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And everybody, be sure to go check out their channels. There will be links in the description below. Show these guys some love. Uh, it is so 
just it is so fun just having people to be able to be like hey you guys want to uh have an air battle and these guys were like yeah we will do it so uh be sure to go to their channels and this is kaboom guys uh thanks for watching the video be sure to hit the like and subscribe and as always by god's grace have a great day and i'll see you in the next one bye